there's a lawyer named Bob Goff. Neat guy. And whenever he was coaching a client through cross-examination, this was his, his advice. He said, when you're being cross-examined, the other attorney is going to try to get you worked up. They're going to try to get you mad. And you're going to find that your arms are crossed, your hands are clenched. He said, this is what I want you to do. I want you to turn your palms up. I want you to put them on your lap. And I want you to keep them like that the entire time. Don't close them. Don't cross them. Just keep your palms up. And here's the thing. When your palms are up, you're never going to react. And this is the reason why. Because palms up is the position of surrender, of submission. And the honest truth is, is that the only way forward from stubbornness, from being unreasonably obstinate from the Lord, is surrender. Surrender is the only way forward. Palms up. And so I have to ask you this question. What aspect of your life have you been closed off to the Lord? Where in your life do you need to begin to take a posture of surrender before him and say, Lord, this is yours. Lord, I'm not comfortable with this. Lord, I'm scared about this. Lord, I really don't know how this is going to work. But if you're good enough and great enough and strong enough to rescue me from the pits of hell, then I can trust you with this. Then I can surrender this to you as well. And I don't know what you're going through right now, but I want you to think about this. The Lord loved Jonah enough that he let him get swallowed by a whale at the bottom of the ocean. And so the Lord's willing to take us through whatever it, it takes for us to get to this point. Sometimes we're going, oh, I'm going through hard times. I thought this stuff following Jesus was supposed to be leading to good times. But the reality is, if we're living in such a way that we're trying to hold back something from God, He'll take us through it, and He'll take us through it, and He'll take us through it until finally we go, Lord, I'm yours. All of me. And I don't know if it's the Great Commission I don't know if you're holding back the truth of the gospel and going and sharing with people. I don't know if it's in the treasure and the generosity piece. I don't know where it's at. But my hope is, is that in a moment when we go to prayer, is that you would be honest and vulnerable before the Lord to invite him to search you and to show that to you. Now, if you don't believe in Jesus Christ, if you've been maybe coming to church and you've been hearing Pastor Matt preach, I want to tell you this. Everything in the relationship with God starts the moment that you surrender to Him. Going to church and reading your Bible, these are good things, but it all actually starts with just surrendering and saying, Jesus, I am yours. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and that you raised from the grave to give me new life. And so my encouragement for you is this. You don't need to get anything else straightened out except for that. Surrender to Jesus. When you like and subscribe, this video reaches more people. 